Dr. Colleen Fogarty, the chair for the University of Rochester Department of Family Medicine, is back with us again this morning. Doctor, good morning. Good morning. Long awaited, the COVID-19 Pfizer vaccine is making its way to communities across the country, including ours this week. Let's begin right there. Why is it so important for people who can be, who are eligible first in line, to be vaccinated? Yes, it's a key strategy for public health intervention and preventing the spread of this pandemic. Up until now, we have had what are called non-pharmacologic interventions. Things like wearing a face covering over your nose and mouth, staying six feet apart from others, practicing excellent hand washing. Those are all measures that we've been doing, we need to continue to do. And now we have a pharmacologic intervention or a vaccine that works with our immune systems to help our bodies be ready to fight off that virus in the event that we get exposed. So, so those are two really important strategies and vaccination will hopefully stop this pandemic. So critically important. Uh, we hear this term vaccine hesitancy. It's begun to emerge in the ether over the last few weeks. Uh, what is yes. it and, and, and what do we do to address it? It's a really important concept, Mark, and I'm glad you're bringing it up. So vaccine hesitancy refers to a delay in acceptance or a refusal of vaccines, even though they're available and safe. Um, and this really came to the fore a couple of years ago with the measles outbreaks that we were seeing in various communities. Measles uh, requires 95% immunity in the community to really cut back the, the prevalence of that disease. And in many places, vaccine rates were dropping to about 90% or even less in some communities. About seven or eight months ago, Doctor, you and I first used the term herd immunity. Uh, it's bubbling back up now as well. Let's uh, finish with a thought there. That's right. So herd immunity is the term used to describe when enough people have protection against a disease, either from an infection or from vaccination, that it's unlikely that that virus can continue to spread in the community and make people sick. And do we know what percentage we need to hit uh, to create herd immunity in our community and in our country or even on the planet for that matter? So for the novel coronavirus or COVID-19, we don't know what that number is. Um, and the point is it's, a, it's still a brand new virus to humans. So as we go along with the vaccination program and the monitoring, the physicians and epidemiologists will be monitoring this closely so we have greater understanding of what numbers will reach herd immunity. I guess safe to say the more people vaccinated, the better, right? Absolutely. All right, let's leave it there. Doctor, as always, thank you for your insight and expertise. Thank you. Have a great day. You as well. Uh, we've got a link about the, the coronavirus vaccine and its benefits. We'll share that online as well. You'll find it posted at rochesterfirst.com.